More than half of people in the world eat rice. But there are many things about rice that most of people don't know about it. Because we were disconnected completely from what we are eating. Fifty years ago, we have more than 20,000 varieties of rice in Thailand. But after that, the government tried to develop rice for commercial. We want to be the biggest export rice in the world. After that, we have only 200 varieties of rice left in the country that people are still growing. And what we eat, less than three varieties now. Even most of the rice varieties disappear. What we have now, less than 200 varieties, but we still have many different kind of rice. Many of them have different color, different size, different smell. Rice is very unique because the smell, the color, the size make it different quality, different nutrition in it. It's good to eat many varieties of rice. If we eat one or two varieties, we will have less nutrition. When we harvest the rice, it will look like this. And then we need to separate the grain from the stem. And after that, we need to mill the rice to take the husk separate from the grain. So when we take the husk off, this is what we call brow rice. The husk, it will be very hard part of rice. We cannot eat that part. It's equal to hard wood. It takes two years to decompose this part. But what we eat is this part we call brow rice. When we said brow rice, it doesn't mean a kind of rice. It's not a variety of rice. Brow rice means unpolished rice. The rice that we take only the husk off, we call brow rice. So brow rice can be many color, but we use the wrong way, the wrong word for it. It means unpolished rice. It can be many color. It can be black color, red color, white color, or translucent color. There are many color of rice. There is very thin layer of fiber wrapped around brow rice. So this fiber is very good to absorb very bad thing from our body when we eat. And it contains some vitamin and mineral in there too. If we look closely to brow rice, any kind of brow rice, we will see a white dot at one end of the rice. This white dot is what we call rice germ or the eye of the rice. This is where the rice will germinate from. This is the most important part of rice. The rice germ contain very high vitamins and minerals and many good things in there. In the big rice mill, they will mill the brown rice second time. The first time, they just dehulls it, take the husk off. We got brown rice. And then they mill it second time with the stone. They use the stone to polish, to bring, take out the fiber that wrap around the rice. We call half polished rice. So this part, we don't have enough fiber in the rice. But we still have the eye of the rice or the rice germ is still there. But people don't like it yet because it is not fluffy enough. It's not look nice. It's not look white enough. So they mill the third time. So the third time, they polish until the rice is very thin. And then the aim is just to polish the eye of the rice. They want to take the eye of the rice or the rice germ out because the rice germ make it white dot there. So all the nutrition will be taken out from the third, the third time of milling.
rice. So what we have left after that is only carbohydrate. So when we eat brown white rice, when we eat white rice, we have less nutrition in there. Mainly we got sugar or carbohydrate in there. This is the main of the rice that we eat all over the world now. When we eat rice, we divide rice into two groups, depend on the way we cook rice. The first group is boiling rice. This is the major majority of rice that we eat in the world is boiling rice. We just put rice in the pot with water and boil them until the water evaporated and then let it simmer a little bit and it will be fluffy. The second group is what we call steaming rice. The steaming rice, we, we cannot boil them because there's more starch in there. It will burn at the bottom and uncook on the top if we boil them. So this kind of rice, we need to steam them only. The steaming rice mainly is quite sticky. Many people call sticky rice or glutinous rice. It's quite different from the boiling rice. When we look at the uncooked rice, the boiling rice will be translucent like a, this grain. This tiny one is translucent, this one. And then the white, dark white one is sticky rice or steaming rice. That's the difference. How to cook boiling rice? If you buy rice from the market, they always spray with chemical to prevent bugs to eat rice. So it's good to wash the rice a few times before we cook them. After we wash them very well, we just add water. It doesn't matter how much rice we have in the pot, but the water have to be above the rice, about three centimeters or one inch. That is enough. And put the lid on and keep boiling it until the water evaporated. We would have cooked rice like this. So boiling rice is easy. You can use rice cooker. It's that a lot easier too. If we want more color in our rice, we can add butterfly pea in there. This one is butterfly pea. Add in the pot when we start to cook it. Or we can add uh, turmeric or any color that we want from the plants in there. So when we cook, we we'll get the color as we want. It's quite easy to cook. The steaming rice or sticky rice or glutinous rice is the same thing. So how to cook is easy. Just wash the rice first because the same reason because of chemical that they spray on the rice. Mostly they spray. So it's good to make sure that we wash it well. And then after we wash the rice one or two times, we just add water into the rice and soak the rice at least two hours before we steam it. Keep it soaked like this for two hours. But if we hurry, we can add hot water in there and we can soak with hot water about half an hour. We can cook it after that. When we steam the rice, don't add a lot of water in the pot. So it will not take too long to bring the water into the boil. If we add maybe three inches of water in the pot, it will not take long time to cook, to steam the rice. And then we just put on the stove. And then we put the basket in there. You can use any kind of steamer on top. And then put the rice that we soak at least two hours on top and put the lid on and boil it. So if we add less water, don't leave it too long. We need to check it often because the water will evaporate it very fast. And then steaming rice, it doesn't take long time because the steam always hotter than when we boil. The steam cook faster than boiling things. So. We need to keep watching. Don't let the water dry up in the pot. When we cook it, 
keep watching it often. That's the most important part of it. To see if the steam come up over the rice like this, that means the bottom is totally cooked. It's cooked, but the top part may be not cooked enough. Sometimes we just turn the, ups, uh, the bottom up and then put the upside down and cover them again like this. You can put normal lid or any leaves to cover to keep the steam in there and then it will cook very fast. It will take maybe five minutes after you can see the steam. That's good enough. So we always put the rice that already cooked on the basket on the tray like this but the tray need to be wet first because it will not stick this technique just to mix the bottom part it can be too wet mix with another part of the rice so it will mix well it will not too wet to not too soggy and then we can put in the basket and keep it for the whole day normally we keep in the bamboo basket like this this bamboo basket villagers just weave by themselves and it can keep the rice in there for a long time keep the heat in there for a long time so when we eat sticky rice mainly the sticky rice is quite tasty it's better than boy boiling light rice mainly we eat with something not oily like a chili paste and raw vegetable like this it's not good to eat sticky rice with any kind of curry with coconut milk it's not get along well normally it's good with uh, anything with no coconut milk it's just perfect and it's good with some fried stuff like a fried beef fried chicken or roasted chicken that's that is the best way to eat. So sticky rice we eat with our hand because it's quite sticky. So in northern of Thailand in an, and northeastern of Thailand, people eat sticky rice as a staple food here. They don't eat boiling rice much. So sticky rice is very addictive because it's so sweet and fun to eat it plain. Rice is very fun to eat. Just plain rice. When you finish cooking, it's still hot. And chew or rice. You can enjoy the sweetness and enjoy the real taste of rice. So much fun.